Just Kevin Craig takes us on a tour of the damage. Water levels are down three to four feet in the Van Lopik subdivision. But four to five inches of ice remains. For the first time, homeowners got the chance to go back in to look at the damage the icy grand left behind. This past May, the water came up to the edge of the siding, mm -hmm. uh, to the bottom of the siding, which was what, 16 2, I guess. And uh, of course, now we had 14 inches in the house. Just watch your step because it's very slippery. Most of the water in this house is drained out. What's left is some of the ice that wreaked havoc on everything. Obviously, it's a lot of work. Uh, we're talking about having to rip up all the floors, all the walls. The drywall has to be ripped off about four feet high. Uh, with the insulation that's in the walls removed, possibly some of the subfloor. Only four or five houses did not get water inside, but for the most part, house to house, neighbor to neighbor, the story is the same. Well, the walls are all buckled, carpet shot, floors are buckling, and uh, you know, the paneling on the walls is all shot. When we're in our bedrooms at home, we've probably taken for granted at one time or another how warm and comfortable and dry our bed and our rooms are. It's completely the opposite situation here in the Van Lopik subdivision. You can see the remnants of what was a fierce flood from the ice jam on the Grand River. Water got up more than a foot in this house. There's still plenty of ice left. And now we have water soaked rugs and all kind of damage in this room alone. This is a place that's cold and far from comfortable. Last week, Kevin Purcell took us into the subdivision on a front loader. This week, his goal is still the same. It's a salvage operation, 100% salvage operation. We walked through Kevin's house to see the damage. When the flood started nearly two weeks ago, he was totally caught off guard. He rolled out of bed early in the morning, only to find himself standing in two inches of water. Now, he and his neighbors want to move forward and work with the township to begin cleaning up. 99% of the neighborhood wants to cooperate with the township, have them come in, do their inspections, what they have to do so we can have our power and gas turned on. In Robinson Township, Kevin Craig, Fox 17 News at 10.